Today I'm doing a video on replacing the trigger spring in my Vaquera 45 long coal. The stock trigger spring comes in, I believe it's a 50 or 60 ounce. I'm going to be replacing it with the 30 ounce to lighten up on the trigger pull. Really cheap and easy. Trigger pull only costs five bucks and I'll walk you through doing it right now. All we need is a just a little screwdriver. I'm going to use a little Allen wrench and you'll see why in just a few minutes. So first thing we want to do is make sure the gun's unloaded. Nothing in the firearm. Then what we want to do is take her apart. So we'll start with removing this guy here. I mean what you want to do is you want to slide this guy back in you'll see why in just a minute. Pull the handles off. Again, very easy. I've never worked on a gun before. No worries. It's uh, not too hard. Then we'll take and we'll set everything together. There's our handles and there's the screw that goes with our handles. So. The reason that I put this slide back in here is because you're going to want to pull back on the hammer and without that in there you couldn't bring the hammer back. So now close, the, close her up, bring the hammer back and you brought the hammer back to be able to put uh, something through here and you'll see why in a second. Again I'm just using this Allen. I've seen some use a nail. So you want to put that through there. And uh, we'll go ahead and um, take the screws out here. And again, we'll get to uh, why we stuck the Allen through there in just, just a few minutes. So. You're going to have five different screws here, so as you pull them out, I recommend putting them in some kind of order so you remember exactly where they came from. This guy here, he's going to be the, the longest one of them all. Had some Loctite on it, so it was kind of hard getting it out of there. So you'll see when you uh, end up pulling the trigger again, bringing the hammer back forward, it took the tension off of here. <clears throat> so take it, take this as the trigger spring here we're going to be replacing. Take it and pop her off of there. There's one on that side, and you got the other half on this side here. Just pop her off. A screwdriver or needle in those pliers, whatever you might use. And this guy will come right out of there. Let's see. So here's the long screw I pulled out. Here's the order they were in. Just as so. This one here was in the front. This one was on our right side. This one was on the left side. It's the longer one. So then you're going to have these two in the back. Pull those guys out. Okay. 
And then since these were on the top, I just kind of stick them above the rest of them so we don't get them mixed up. Now that that's off, bring your hammer back a little bit. You can pop it out. Things you don't want to lose, you're going to have the spring on the back here. You can see that. I just leave it in there. <clears throat> and then you have the spring that's right down here. Take it out, and I put it by something else. It's so small, I don't want to lose it. So take and slide the guy out. And then again, our trigger spring, which we're going to be replacing. You can use, uh, you want to pop this pin out, and if there's no tension on it, I just used a new spring we're going to be replacing it with. Pop her out. Again, set it next to something bigger so you don't lose it. Okay. There's the stock spring that came with it. Here's the one we're going to be putting inside there. You can see the difference in the thickness of the two. Definite difference, definitely. So putting it back together. Again, just going to uh, kind of reverse things in the order we pulled it apart. We'll put it back together. Slide her back up in. Line it, line it up with the holes. Take the pin. Put it back through there. Again, there's no tension on that. And you're going to want to leave these off. You're going to see why in just a minute. You're going to take this guy here and put it back up inside there. And it only goes in one way. If you turn it over, it's not going to work. Slide it up in there. Put that in its position. Don't pull that Allen out or whatever you use to take the tension off there. Don't pull it out yet because you're going to want it loose and you'll, you'll see why in a minute. In a minute. And along with uh, our spring too. Keep this loose. Don't put it up yet. Putting her back together can be a little bit of a challenge. Um, might take a few minutes. Um, but again, it's uh, I believe anyone could, could handle it. And then uh, our spring here, don't forget to put that back in. It's going to go right there. And here's the fun part of it. Matching everything back up. You're going to want to make sure the trigger is a little bit forward. I find it the hammer's back just a little bit and the trigger's a little bit forward. It's going to work the easiest because what you don't want, and I'll show you, is when you slide it back on, you can't really see, but underneath there, you want the spring not to be on the outside here and if you don't put it on right that's what will happen you want to be able to not see the spring in there so that's why you kind of want to bring them down and then you're gonna to have to play with this guy here and make sure it's uh, in the position it needs to be in in there it goes right there if it goes in there see and now I have the spring sticking out here so it's not on right. So we got to pull it apart again. Bring the spring up. You got to kind of play with it. So you can see, you don't see the spring, so everything kind of slid together the right way. I 
Now we'll go back to uh, putting the springs back in the correct position. And if you find that the springs aren't going back or the screws aren't going back in easily, don't force them to go. The last thing you want to do is force anything to go where it isn't going in too easily. Most likely you're going to be ruining the threads. That wouldn't be good. Okay. So I'll put all these guys back in. Not too snug. Just enough to hold it together. We'll make sure everything works. Kind of magnified it. Okay, so everything's in. Kind of kind of lightly. So we'll put this back in the position it needs to go. And once you pull the pull the allen off of there, whatever it is you use to put it in, the tension's back on the hammer. Just like that. With the tension back, you should be able to pull it back. Pull the trigger. Wow, such a wow, that it it does such a such a has such a light pull to it. Um, I so recommend this. 